everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday fun day. What's everybody doing today? Oh, you don't want to see up my stairs. That's gross. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Hi, I am Kara with Kara's Color Me Vintage. I am a DIY paint retailer. I have three retail spaces. I paint furniture. I paint walls. I paint floors, I paint canvases. Hi Leanne, hi Annette, thanks for coming. Say hi if you come on in. I see your wave, Leanne. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to come on today. Happy Sunday. Hi mom. I just wanted to come on today, one, because I'm not coming on tomorrow night. I usually do Monday Night Lives, but I'm going to the Dallas game tomorrow night. So I'm doing my Monday Night Live today on Sunday. And I'll probably come on live again on Tuesday because my good friend Michelle, a fellow DIY retailer, is coming to visit me here in Texas. So hopefully we'll be able to come on and do a chair because she's with my vintage chairs and she paints chairs and she, she writes stories to go along with their chairs. But I wanted to come on today because I've been working on Lady Hummingbird, which you can't, she looks very dark. But she's dark. She's dark emerald green and purple, and I painted her last week live, um, and she was inspired by a photo of a hummingbird. And I wanted to take her to the next level and do something fun with her, and so I decided I wanted to line the drawers with some tissue, decoupage, and, and the sides. So that's what, what I'm going to show you today because I've, I've done a couple times, a couple weeks ago I did a live where I showed an iron-on method for decoupaging and I will never do it another way again. I will always iron it on. I will never do wet decoupage again. Um, but I wanted to show you, well first I wanted to tell you um, a few announcements. A week from yesterday, so next Saturday, is my online floral canvas painting class. I have 15 people signed up for it. My goal is to get 20 people signed up for it, and that's because it's more fun when people are interacting. When an online class, you can choose to take it during the class time, or you have the class for two weeks. And so when you give that option, only about maybe a third of the people take it during the class time. And so I wanna get a good handful because when people ask questions, it helps everybody. So I'm trying to get 20 people signed up for that class, but we're doing good. I got 15 people on the class. So if you wanna sign up for that class, it's at karascolormevintage.com. And um, it's, it's gonna be super fun. Everybody's gonna leave with a different canvas. It's not gonna be like a paint and sip class where you leave with the exact same thing I did. I'm gonna walk everybody through different flower forms and all of that, but all of your colors, your backgrounds will all be different. Um, you'll choose what flowers and where and, and how spread out or how condensed you want them. And um, you know, you'll, you're gonna choose exactly really what you wanna do. So your floral canvas will be beautiful and it will be yours. It won't be looking like mine. So, if you want to do that, it's at karascolormevintage.com. And my new site's open in McKinney. And so I'm right downtown McKinney at 540 Mercantile. I've got paint there. I do, do not yet have any furniture there, but I will. Uh, Roxanne, yes, my shirt. That's Grace. <laughs> so I ordered greeting cards of grace and of inside out and then my my recent horse painting and when you go and order the cards so i ordered them from vistaprint when i you go and order the cards you 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 check out and then they give you all these options here put this print on this and so i was like oh yes sure i'll have a t-shirt and then i was like oh yes i'll have a notepad and i kept on ordering things with grace on it can't say no it's a problem Anyway, so I wanted to show you my lovely um, tissue paper that I'm going to use. Is that so beautiful? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love hummingbirds almost as much as I love flowers. Um, we grew up with hummingbirds. My mom always had a hummingbird feeder, and I told a story in my video about how I um, had a pet hummingbird.
hummingbird for a couple weeks. That's a really amazing story. It's in my live when I painted this cabinet. Um, but I just love them. They're beautiful creatures. So I'm going to show you how to iron on decoupage. So I, I've already done several of the cabinets or several of the drawers. I'm going to turn my iron on. This is the inside of the drawer. So this is the outside. It is this is the this is the purple panel, the one that's a little bit more purple with some green on it. I got my fingerprints all over it. But this has already been decoupaged. So I'm going to show. I'm going to do it on the sides, and then I've got another drawer. I'll do it in the inside. So I'm also going to show you. Hello. <laughs> I'm also going to show you um, how to cut the paper. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to raise this up so you can see. Sorry, I'm gonna make you sick. I'm gonna make y'all sick for a second. I just gotta raise my um, tripod so you can see what I'm working on here. Hopefully this is gonna be better. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so iron on, I'm gonna turn the iron on. Iron on decoupage is so very easy. I'm telling you, I will never do it another way. I will just, I just won't. I will not do wet, especially with tissue, because the tissue, I've tried it with tissue wet, and it tears. Tissue or napkins, they tear so easily. So this iron-on way, you can do it with tissue, you can do it with um, regular paper, but what you have to do first is you have to prep your piece with, I used, um, DIY's liquid patina, so clear liquid patina. Um, I mean, I, I'm a DIY retailer, so I have that. I'm sure there's other mediums that you can use, um, but I use that, and I put about two thick coats on it. So two thick coats or three thin coats. You wanna make sure you have plenty of patina, because what you're going to do, and then you let it dry. So this is completely dry. And it's really important to let it dry perfectly because if, if it's wet when you put it on, your paper will wrinkle. It will flatten back out, but it will freak you out. Like it will wrinkle and then flatten out, but it will freak you out if it wrinkles. <laughs> so let it dry. So this is two coats of clear liquid patina, DIY clear liquid patina. My iron is heating up. Looks like it's hot. And then you can take parchment paper, I just took um, some newspaper and your tissue. I've got some scraps from the other drawer, so I'm just gonna place a scrap on here. Let's do it this way. Let's do it the smart way, Kara. And just place it on there. And so I'm just lining up the edge on here so I don't have to cut two edges but I've got an edge here, and then just kind of getting it into the crease. And then I'm going to take my newspaper. This is, this is how, whoops, well, I need another hand. This is how easy it is, you guys. Have you guys ever done, um, yeah, watch Joanna, um, that, that live was really good. And, it was a fun one. I think it was a fun one. I shouldn't say, that was a good live. <laughs> Listen to me, what a dork. Um, but it was a fun one. I love telling the story about my hummingbird. Michelle, this paper, okay, so here's the thing, you guys. I wanted hummingbird paper so bad, and I couldn't find any except for wholesale. So I ordered about 300 sheets because <laughs> I had to, to get the paper. So I'm actually selling it on my website. I've separated it out into decoupage packages of five sheets. Thank you for asking. Um, and it's five bucks. So if you want to go on my website, Kara's Color Me Vintage, I'll be going to the post office on Wednesday to send things out. But yeah, I wanted it so bad that, and I couldn't find it except for wholesale. So that's what I did. So now it's available on my website. <laughs> Cause I gotta, I don't, I don't, I did not need 300 sheets of it. Okay, so I've got my, oh, let me pull the cord closer to me. It's stuck. And we do not want to have an iron thing. Okay, so the paper's there, okay? Underneath the newspaper, the tissue is, and there's two coats of clear liquid patina. 
you probably could use Mod Podge. And Mod Podge is pretty thick. And you're just gonna iron it on. Okay, so you just wanna make sure you get all the areas nice and hot. The iron is on high. Hi Brenda, hi Tina. So the iron's on high and you can check it out. You can lift the paper up and check it out. And I have, well, I'm being very chatty right now. Okay, it's on. There's a little wrinkling over here. And so I'm just going to, that, that just basically means it's not down. It's not wet. So if it's wet, it gets like a shrivelly wrinkle. Um, but those shrivels will go out. So don't freak out if that does happen. Because here's the thing. I'm not going to put a top coat over this. But if you were decoupaging the outside of your furniture, you would put a top coat over it. There you go. See, look, no wrinkles. Isn't that great? You can't do that with the liquid stuff. If you're decoupaging the outside of your furniture, sorry, this is so weird to be talking like this, um, you would put a top coat on over it. And when you put the top coat on, it wrinkles, it shrivels up, and don't freak out. Okay, because just walk away from it and then those wrinkles go flat again. I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of like the wax freak out factor when you um, wax furniture. Okay, so this is, this is I'm going to do right straight on the paper just on this corner just to really burn this corner down onto the, uh, onto the piece and this edge. And I'm, I'm not going to burn the paper because I already tried it this way. Uh, but I just want to kind of burn the edges down because I'm gonna now I'm going to get I'm gonna take that paper off right here. I'll show you how to do that. So you just take your sander. Oh yes, my jacket. This is my DIY jacket that I got from boot camp, mom. And you guys, I won the blue challenge in the turquoise irises group. So Myra, I entered Myra in a contest and I won. And Myra's going to Indiana. Um, so I'm just gonna now, I'm sanding the edge and this is to, basically, it's gonna cut the paper and give me a really smooth, smooth edge. Watch. There you go. So the paper comes right off. Okay, and then if you have anything that's sticking up, you can just put some patina um, on your finger and smooth it down. And then I have an edge here. Oh, there's an edge. I didn't iron that edge. So I'm gonna iron the edge just to get it really nice and taut. And I know, isn't this cool? Yeah, you guys, so I do have this this um, tissue paper available if you love it. Just out of a mistake, not a mistake, just because I wanted it so bad, the only way I could order it was wholesale. I searched tissue paper, um, hummingbird tissue paper, and the only way, thank you, Jackie, um, the only way I could find it was wholesale. So I bought it. Hey, David, yes. can you call Pierce? He just called. My, that was my son. Sorry if I froze. My son, my son called. And so I have my husband call him. Make sure everything's okay. Doesn't that look good? Look at that, you guys. No wrinkles, and it's completely adhered. Is that so great? <laughs> okay, so I'll do the other side. So you guys, if you're just coming on, you can see, and then I'll just do the inside on my own because that's just going to be really hard. Okay, so here we go. We'll do it again. I've got, let's see if this piece fits. Oops, wrong way. has to be this way. Um, no, that piece does not fit very well. So here I have two, maybe this piece will.
No? Okay, I gotta get a new piece. Okay, so I have two coats of clear liquid patina here, okay? So, and it's dry, okay? I, I applied that earlier today and it's completely dry. And like I said earlier, that's super important. And then I'm gonna put the tissue paper on. And you can get this on my, this tissue paper on my website. I'm gonna put a piece of newspaper on top. You guys see how easy this is? I mean, I'm doing this this quickly while you're on. And I'm just gonna iron it. Once you get one, one part of it stuck on and you need to move, so you need to move. <laughs> you need to move here, Mom, so you can run one of my stores for me. <laughs> Please, will you do that? You can live, we have an extra bedroom. Um, sorry, once you, once you get it melted, you're basically melting the patina, and so the tissue paper sticks to it. And I'm not gonna put a top coat on this, but if I was doing the tissue on the outside of piece of furniture, I would put a top coat on it, obviously. And voila and see I see some wrinkles there that's where I didn't get it ironed on good enough so I'm just gonna flatten that out and they're gone and I'm going to iron the edges so I can cut it with the sander burning it. It's just kind of burning it a little bit, like on the edge. But, I don't know. Just through trial and error, I found out that was a really good way to get it on there. And there was a wrinkle there, and so I just went over it really quickly with iron without burning it. Yeah, I, I did parchment paper last time, but I didn't have any. So I was like, okay, what can I use? You know, you can use anything that's not gonna stick, right? Okay, so just sand those edges and the paper should pop right off. Oops, I didn't sand this edge. So you guys, I would love it if you share my videos. I would also love it if anybody is interested in a floral painting class. If you take my class next Saturday, it's online. It's gonna be super fun. I've done several classes online and I've done several, I've not done a floral painting class online. I've done it in person, but I love doing classes online. So see you guys, here's the drawer. Inside, sides, and it's going right here. What a great surprise, right? When they open that up and they see the sides. Ah, it's so great. So I have one more drawer to do, and that's gonna do it work pretty much the same way. I'll show you the insides if this piece of paper fits. I think it will. Yeah, it does. Um, Roxanne, my next furniture class, you wanted a live class, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't have one on the books yet, but I'm planning on, on putting one on this week, because I've been kind of lax in that, but I need to do that. So it will be at the chapel, and if you're live, if you're, if you're here in town, you guys, at Southern Chapel Vintage Market on Monday is a sip and shop, and I will be there. And I want anybody who's here in town to come join me. Oh my gosh, Deb. So I had an iron for my last one, a tiny iron, and it went faulty on me. I was so frustrated. So yes, I have one and it worked once and then it didn't work again. So I just used the big iron. 
and it works fine. I'll show you, after I do this, I'll show you how I cut around these edges. It's a little bit trickier. Thank you, Liz. So I have this paper on my website because I wanted hummingbird paper so bad at like three o'clock in the morning. I was looking for hummingbird paper. This is when I do these, these types of things. And I couldn't find any for retail. Like I couldn't find any where I could just buy a little package of it. And so I could only find it wholesale. So I bought the whole ream. <laughs> so 300 sheets of hummingbird paper. So I divided it out and I have an impact of five sheets. <laughs> so you got a small iron and you haven't used it yet. Well, I hope it works. Um, I know I have a friend who who I, I probably should have bought the more expensive craft. It was a crafting iron. I should have bought the more expensive one, but I didn't. I bought the cheap one, you know. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to iron this in here. There's a little section in the back corner here that's wet, so I'm going to avoid that right now. Still, because I don't want it to bleed through. But you know, it's just you just want to make sure. You, you get the whole area, but I'm going to show you how I cut this because it's kind of tricky. But I figured it out just through trial and error. And hi, Melissa. I hope you got your package. Um, I am going to be so happy for all of you guys who share this. I am getting really close to a new goal and with every new goal I add something. I have a new plan for my business and I'm super excited about it. So I appreciate those of you who share. share. My temperature, my, my iron is on hot. And as long as I have the paper, paper, the newspaper down, it doesn't, it doesn't burn the tissue paper. But I, if I, and I can, I can put it straight on the tissue paper as long as I don't hold it there. You know, like if there's any wrinkles and I just need to, you know, touch it up. So now I'm just going to get in these little areas and just kind of push the tissue paper down into the. edges here and then once I get this part done I'll show you how I cut around the edges on here because it's really that's the hardest part about doing inside of a drawer I just want to make sure I get the edges done down oh I see it's not down over here Sometimes when I do these things online, I don't focus like I should because I like to look at the, I like to talk to you guys. Hi, Lou. How are you? How are you, Lou? So I'm just going to push the paper into the corners here. Whoops, let me put this up real quick. Push it down in. And even if I have a few little wrinkles, it's okay because I'm going to smash them with the iron and they're just going to blend in. But this is the hard, this is the hardest part, doing it inside the drawer. I would much rather do this on the outside of a piece of furniture, but uh, that's not what this one called for. So I don't know, Lou, if you saw my hummingbird video. I don't remember where I did Lady, Lady Hummingbird. She's behind me. This is the finishing touches to her, and then she's going to McKinney tomorrow. Downtown McKinney. So yes, I'm at the 540 Mercantile. And then an Allen. Okay. So that's good enough for now. I'll, if, if, just for you guys, if, if anything's coming up, I'll go back and get it. But I want to show you how I cut in, cut this 
excess off. If I can find my credit card. So I can take a credit card. This is an expired credit card. I'm gonna sit down for this. Okay. I tried with an X-Acto knife, you know, with a crafting knife. I tried with this, but I was just tearing the paper. Like, even though this is sharp, I was, you could probably do it, but this is what I do. I go like this. Okay, and then I don't, I don't pull it up. I hold the card down and then I tear it. See that? I'm tearing it. I'm holding the card down here and I'm tearing it towards the card. Kind of when you, like when you fold paper and you tear the paper. So I'm just kind of like, you know, scraping at the edge a little bit and then I pull it towards the credit card and it seems to come off really nicely that way. And even if, if some of the edges lift, you can just go back with your patina, with your finger and go over the edge. This is my last drawer, so I did all the other drawers so I knew what I was talking about when I came on to you. Came, came on here. So yeah, so that's all I do. Could you wrap sandpaper over the card? Hey Roxanne, aren't you smart? <laughs> I bet you I could. It's just the you don't have like the 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 edge, you know, here. So, well, I bet you you could. That's worth a try. This is working really well, though. So I'll show you when I pull it up, like how good that edge, how good this edge is. Well, I just tore it there. But see there, this is the this is the part where I was taking off. So you can see how straight that edge is. So it worked really well. Is that just not beautiful tissue paper? I'm really excited to have extra too because I can also use it for gifts. But I don't want like 295 extra pieces of it. Maybe 20. <laughs> yeah, 3 o'clock in the morning. Do you guys do that? Could you use a metal painting for trim? I don't know what you're saying. A metal painting for trim. You end up with almost a deckled edge, which I love. Yeah, that's interesting. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for signing up for my class today. I saw that. Okay, guys. So there you are. There's the inside. You saw how fast that was. I'm just gonna go ahead and get at the um, two other sides. I've already done two sides, so I won't do another one with you. Um, but thank you. I'm going to be, oh, I'm gonna be on the DIY paint page. You are right, you guys. So I'm gonna be on the DIY paint page next, this Friday, this Friday at 8.45 Central Standard Time, I think. And what I'm going to be doing, I don't know if you saw my earrings, if anybody saw my earrings I was wearing in the last video, big earrings. I'm gonna be, I make those 100% with paint. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do that. Oh, a metal tool with a handle. Yes, you could use that mm -hmm. to pull it. But this is, you know, I just find things and use them. <laughs> so anyways, thanks guys for coming. Um, please share this. And if you're interested in some hummingbird um, tissue paper, I have a lot. <laughs> All right, take care. Hi, Heather. Take care, you guys. I'll see you all soon. Love you. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.